Hey guys, welcome back to Lean Over Winter episode 3. I hope you enjoyed the past two episodes and just a massive thank you to start with for the 1,300 plus views on that video. Massive thank you for sticking with it and watching along. Um, today's episode, I'm joined by one of my good friends, George Torres, who's also a UK uh, natural bodybuilding competitor, uh, just finished up the British and so on. Um, Yes, yeah, so he's passionate basically. So I broke him in to basically do this workout with me. Um, so we'll see how he does with the hip stuff because he's used to, uh, to smashing out the weights and putting on the for training. Exactly. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do three brand new hip exercises today. Again, they're all going to be full body. And then that's going to be the first part of the workout. Second part, we're going to do the kettlebell stuff. Real simple exercises. You have the kettlebell, so just going to be sticking with one, two, three. So firstly, we're going to go into our warm up. So this is going to be about five minutes to just warm up the body. So let's get straight into it. Right. Okay. So let's get straight into the warm up. So let's say we're going to start with about five minutes. We're going to do full body exercises. The first one, we go for about 20, 30 seconds of star jumps. So we can get those arms tight. So nice and wide. Towel, we're going to get straight into the hip round now. So, as I said, three exercises like we've done before. We're going to 
have upper body exercise, ab exercise, and a leg exercise. So, three exercises will be starting with Spider Man push up, so coming down onto the floor. As we go down into the push up, we bring the leg up to the side, as if you would imagine you would be Spider Man climbing up the side of the building. So, you can do this on your knees, I'm just demonstrate the side. You're going to bring the leg up as you press down.
four, three, two, one. And we're so round one over. So we take two minutes now. Get some water on board. Get out, wipe the ground, and the rest of it. And then we'll go again on round two. Same principle, same exercises, same rest, same amount of work. You know, I've got familiar with the exercises now, so a bit more effort this time. Which, you know, and then one more round after that. Kind of stuff. Would you say that you incorporate this into any of your body stuff? You know what, definitely in the off-season when I'm in the calories of clubs, it's a really good way to run the amount of calories, so you kind of sacrifice doing this sort of uh, training. Yeah. I think the diet can be doing a kind of deficit, so I'm um, kind of training. If you're sort of training, you're more likely to burn on the cross condition, so I think it's like the long term duration of body, but on a calories of clubs, for real, and then you need that extra calories in, you know, throughout the winter, it's great to keep that uh, high level of training, you know, keep some of in mind. That's what they said, the right moment. So essentially, you can get away with eating more while staying leaner and still building that muscle mass. So yeah, 100% keep it in your calorie surplus. You know, if you're in a deficit, still keep it in. But, you know, if you're going to body different, it's different. Just uh, day to day, try and keep it, definitely incorporate this in two, three times a week. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
properly and then do my second round. So three, two, one, let's go. Thank you. 
about these hard work classes. They're very hard time. Always a finish. A bit amazing. And uh, they're over so quickly. So we'll be done with all of this in like 25 minutes. Um, so me and you have to sacrifice an hour in the gym either at the beginning or the end of the day. And short, sharp defensive. So a lot of exercise now. Let's get those varying times out of the way. We'll have a good range of the curve work for So three, two, one. Let's do it. Exercise, try 
Hopefully you haven't smashed anything. Come now. Yeah, definitely put in that extra 10 seconds. So, so 40 seconds, I mean, with kit in general, your time working in a kit round, you don't really want it to be more than 45 seconds. Maybe a minute, absolutely maximum, super fit, purely because you can't sustain that heart rate being that high for longer, or you just have to slow down. Um, yeah. So, get ready for those squats. So, Flip it upside down, or by the sides, whatever comfortable. So, three, two, one, let's go. Good. 
Two more exercises. We're done. We've got a good stretch. Finish up. Right there. Uh, Thank you. You have good? Really, very good. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I love, I love starting my workouts off with it. Before I go on 20 weeks. But that's because I am training a bit differently. So if I was, for example, doing some of that George Dice and building the muscle, I would do it afterwards because what different times are there if I can separate? Yeah, well you would separate this completely from if you want to build muscle because you want all of your energy, especially if you're looking to get stronger and you're bigger. So let's get into those goblet squats. In three, two, one, let's go. Let's hit the next one. 
is it going to be a week by time or not? Even if we have desk jobs, um, especially for the hamstrings, we're going to link up that one more time. I'm going to link them when this start looks a bit more than towards you, when it creates that hamstring stretch. Okay, good. Change legs, so same principle. Leg out in front, no lunge. Lean forwards, increase that hip flexor stretch. You want to really increase it, raise the arm up as well. Feel it cool right in there. So you have to balance as well for this. So you fall over and So, and now uh, on that, so again, the same principle. Opposite leg, stretch that hamstring up. So a few seconds. And forwards once more. And last time we move back again, big stretch. It's hamstring. So to stay on the floor now, what we're going to do to stay one, so bring one leg out, then just reach over the toe. Again, another hamstring one, but this one stay, really loosen it up. If your hamstring is tight like mine are, then you definitely.